<laughs> Would you believe this is take two of the whole video? Yes, because uh, you've got the Hero 8 set on powered mic, haven't you, yeah. instead of standard mic. So yeah. we just recorded wonderful footage of us sitting here yeah. with like a buzzing sound. A hissing sound. Hissing sound. <laughs> So in, in this again. video, <laughs> what we'd like to do, we, we want to talk about the uh, possibility of doing some merchandise, yeah. which is what we're looking at here, yeah. uh, these, these mugs and these pens. Yeah. Um, I want to introduce you to something we've been sent, one of the uh, freebies we get sent, and, uh, and I want to introduce you to my new camera bag. What's you managed to pack into your new camera bag? Which is quite amazing, really, because yeah. I've unpacked it and packed it twice. It now. <laughs> so. It was quite quick as well. Yeah. So let's get on with it. Yeah. So first of all, we thought we'd do a brief update of what we're doing next week. Didn't yeah. We? Yeah. So what we're we doing next week? I've no idea. No uh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to the Yorkshire Motorhome and. Camper van van show, show, I think it's called. It used to be the Moto and Accessory Show or something like something that. Something like that, yeah. It's the Yorkshire Show. And uh, that's on from, he's looking at the calendar, it's on from... Friday the 20th, isn't it? I've lost to, it now. Is it on there somewhere? No, it's Friday the 18th, 18th to, to Sunday, Sunday the 20th. 20th. It's just three days. Yeah, we'll be there from the Tuesday. We're meeting up with Bob and Aileen. Uh, uh, Aileen will be having a stand at the Yorkshire Show. Uh, so it's a nice show and yeah. uh, it's well worth a visit. There's not a huge number of uh, vans there really. No, it's mainly, um, it's quite interesting because it's mainly used ones, isn't it, outside. Yeah. yeah. Um, but one of the nice things we like is we can take uh, Poppy and Tara yeah. with so us, can't we? Tara's coming with us as well, so that'd be nice. Yeah. Hopefully the weather will be uh, reasonable. reasonable. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, See how we get on with that. So that's where we're going. After that, we're going to Caton Village, to which is near Scarborough. Scarborough. We've been before, but that was before it was redone. You yeah. know, it was how it originally was. Yeah. So that'll be interesting to see the change. Hopefully, we're meeting Glyn and Sharon there. Yeah. And then after that, you've booked a CL, haven't you? I have. I have. Near a canal. You know, I don't do CLs. Yeah. <laughs> we don't do. But you CLs. don't normally do the bookings either. No, so no. what possibly could go wrong? Well, they haven't contacted me for the money yet, so <laughs> <laughs> it could be that. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's called Savile Town Wharf Marina CL, and yeah. it's in Dewsbury. And the reason we're going to Dewsbury? Because of your family tree, we want to do um, a bit of research there, don't we? Yeah. Where your grandparents great grandparents came from yeah all ran pubs didn't they yeah that's right and then one of them ran the jockey in Dewsbury but that no longer horse exists. and jockey horse and jockey was it but that doesn't exist no but we'll have a look see where it was perhaps yeah. see if we see any others and perhaps look for some of the graves maybe yeah and because Earnshaw is quite a Yorkshire name isn't it yeah I mean if you know Wuthering Heights you know there was Cathy Earnshaw in Wuthering Heights yeah and uh, there are links obviously to um, last of the summer wine as well in Holmfirth. That's right. Batty Earnshaw, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, yeah well, you actually have had in your family tree somebody whose middle name was Batty because her father was... It must have been a Yorkshire name. Yeah, yeah, yeah and she was something... She wasn't Nora Batty, but she was something Batty Earnshaw. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. yeah, Nora Batty, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was thinking, there was someone called Earnshaw in there. Yeah, there was, yeah, but I don't think they were called... That's yeah. in your family tree is Batty Earnshaw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so that we're looking forward to that. That should be different. Yeah. And, uh, that's coming up towards the end of March. Just yeah. want to talk to talk to you about merchandise. Now, if you have followed our channel for some time, you know that we've sort of been averse to doing merchandise. The main reason being that we don't want to come home every time and sit there stuffing boxes with pens and mugs. If we were flooded out with orders, or it could make it either be that, couldn't it? Or <laughs> nobody wants any at all. You know. That's right. So. We've been sent these uh, mugs, very nice mugs, with our with our little picture that we took at um, well, Marion Royston. took it. Marion took that. Yeah, that's why we're all in it. And it's got my logo on on the back there. It's quite a nice coffee mug, and we've got a nice cup of coffee in it. It's going a bit cold. It's cold because it's day two. We've also been sent these nice pens as well. There's one with just my logo on it, and I don't know how 
much you're going to see of that. Um, and there's another one that's got my logo in the YouTube. I quite like that one actually. So, I like the way they've used the colour. Yeah, so I quite know, like those. Yeah. So my question to you, the viewers, is should we do merchandise? Yeah, so the great thing about this is that we were sent this uh, for free by a local company in Burska called Design and Personalise. Uh, they contacted, contacted us and said, do we want some mugs? And obviously they print these mugs up and they do the pens and they do that sort of merchandise. So it's a local company, so we'll be happy to support a local company. It won't be yeah. the mega Amazon and, and that sort of thing. No. Um, what they've told us is that they can do all the fulfillment. So really we would just set a price and uh, and they would do the deliveries. It comes via Amazon. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, can't have everything, can you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, so we just wonder whether anybody would be interested. Would uh, you be interested so, in merchandise? Yeah. Uh, would would uh, would you be interested, or you know, do you think it's the spawn of the devil? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which some people obviously clearly do, don't they? Yeah. But uh, yeah. it would support the channel. It would help support the channel. We wouldn't be uh, having to do a whole load of work to do this. We'd be making no. a small profit on it, but uh, it would certainly help. Yeah. So that's our question. Let us know. Uh, leave a comment. See what. See, we'll see what the response is. And they they are subscribers, aren't they? His yeah. wife Jeanette. So, so Jeanette and they've Andrew. Got a so home. Thank yeah. you for that. Yeah. Um, and they've got a small business which we're happy to support. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, okay then. So moving so, on. Moving on. What have you got there then? Something else sent for free. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, this is from a company called Smart Tree. Tree. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's it could do various things. At various cases, they said what would be in, we'd be interested in looking at. So we asked for a thing for our laptop. Yeah. Now what what this does is you can slide the laptop in this little I think neoprene I think it's called so that holds it in place. It's padded inside and out. It's quite a hard shell case there. And so you can zip that up and you can carry that around with you. Quite a nice, stylish case. Obviously, you can't use it to uh, take your power supply and all your, your leaves no, and everything. No, so no, you might want to put that in a that. bigger bag when you're on the on a, on the, in the yeah. motor home or yeah. on the train or whatever. But it is a nice little case, and you've been using it like a little I stand, particularly in the in the van. You know, sitting in the, the front seat. So I've had that on my lap, and it's acting like a little table. Yeah, so because it's quite strong. Yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah, because you've you've now got a, a new laptop, haven't I've you? I've now got a Dell XPS fifteen, which is slightly bigger than this. We we ordered that just after this this came, didn't we? So yeah, we might yeah. get one of these for the the, the bigger Dell. But, yeah, uh, but it fits nicely in because we've got a, a bag that we carry the laptops yeah. around in. We haven't been sent the Dell in, so no, <laughs> no, no, pay, of course you pay not, for no. that with our own, <laughs> yeah. own hard earned money. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Um, yes, I was going to say. So this fits in our Dell bag, doesn't it, with all the power supplies yeah. and yeah. whatever you need for and that. Uh, obviously, you can then put that within another case. Yeah. But the great well, thing okay. about that is you, if you leave this line around, which we often do. Mm. If you spill anything, that will protect it. Yeah. As long as you remember to zip it up. Yeah. It's got YKK zips, so quite nice zips. Um, little parts, big difference. It says on here, and uh, all the washing labels in Chinese, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you can hand wash it. All oh, right. Yeah. Don't iron it. No. Don't machine wash it. No. Don't dry clean it. Right. Yeah. Links will be in the description below of all the things I'm going to show you today, and uh, that is quite nice. Yeah. All right. Swig of coffee. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Nice, but slightly cold. <laughs> but it's not a really hot day, isn't it? This I've bought with my own money. One of the problems I have when we we're going in our motor is getting all our stuff together the night before. Most of it, the camera gear is all over the place. I had it mm. in various boxes and bags and you name it. I've managed to fit most of the things that I need to take with me in this one bag now. And this is a PG Y-Tech, um, looking over there, 
one go shoulder bag 10 litres. I think it's about 118 pounds, isn't it? It's, yeah, litres. it's not cheap, and uh, it, but it does feel fairly well made. And we've seen a couple of other YouTubers uh, reviewing this, and what the first thing they said is that the zips are a bit stiff, and I think they're right. You do seem to have a bit of trouble getting zip. It's also because it, it's sort of going around the bend. It goes around the bend, yeah. It probably doesn't that. help. But the reason they are stiff is that they are waterproof. And the whole thing opens up, and you can see I've got quite a bit of stuff in here. And once we start getting this out, you'll see exactly how much stuff I have got in here. So what we got in here, we've got a battery charger for the Hero 8, which is what you're watching on here. Because I've got all my camera gear in here, we're filming this on the older camera. So apologies if the sound sounds a bit ropey. That's why, with its lead. So that's the battery charger for the Hero 8. Um, there is somewhere in here the battery charger for the Hero 10 and also in here somewhere, I can't know where I put them, is the batteries for it. I'll come to that in a minute. I've got earbuds in this top pocket here still. We've got straps that go on the bottom of the bag and you can attach a, a tripod uh, to, the, to the bottom of the bag. More straps, a couple of straps. I think there's one which is like a, a brace across the shoulder. So if you you're putting it on your sh on your back, you can brace it across your your front. So I haven't tried that yet. So that's that. I've got the Sony ZV-1 camera, which I use for photos and for long shots and. Uh, Anything perhaps we want a bit. You use it for recording these, don't you? Yeah, I actually use it, yeah, recording <laughs> these videos normally because yeah. it does really give, a, I think, a much better picture for static shots than the GoPro, funny enough. Mm. But I use a GoPro for most other things. But I do like that camera. It's like a little, uh, well, it's quite a complex camera. It's like a, a, a big camera and a small body, really. Yeah. Got the Ulanzi wide angle lens on there because that is one drawback with this camera, the, uh, the, the uh, lens is not wide enough so they've got this add-on lens that you screw on the front. So that's that. Got the little GoPro clamp and it's got this swivel thing and you can put the GoPro on there and you can clamp that to go. <laughs> Another battery charger and that one's for the Sony batteries. <laughs> This, I, I wouldn't normally have this in my bag, but this here is the Hero 5 session that we started filming with, with in 2017. 17. It's exactly, because March 10th today, it's exactly five years yeah. since this little camera arrived. Yeah. And all we were going to do was take shots of our For, trips, for our it? holidays, really. That was, yeah. that was basically it. It was just going to be a holiday holiday shots and I just bought this because it was a very nice little simple camera to use and it still is really um, but the stabilization on that is not the not, best. Not good. It's, it's whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, <laughs> not good. Not, not good. You, could. you didn't realize it at the time I think no. because everybody had this, the same problem didn't they the, the cameras don't look very stable. No. No. Uh, right. uh, in here we've got the um, selfie stick and tripod for the Sony. Now, this is a remote control thing as well so you can operate it in the movie and uh, do the zoom in. And mm, I like that. I prefer, if I'm using that camera, I prefer to use it with that. Yeah, that, that you know, does on, on a quarter mount, quarter inch mount. Yeah. And you can, yeah, if you take the lens cap off and uh, off you go. Yeah. And you can start it filming. Filming or, or put it in photo mode. Yeah. Yeah. You sort of filming me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. But yeah, use the use the Sony, like I say, for taking photos and for zooming things. Zooming on, zooming in on things. What else we got in this bag? Oh yeah, got this little thing here. This is the GoPro Hero 10, and that's in its media mod mount. It's not easy to say. And it sits on this little telescopic selfie stick. Uh, there's a little tripod as well. 
So yeah. that we've used to film. We filmed all of the NEC with that, didn't we? we yeah. But did we have any problems? I think we did, did we? No, no. I've no. A few people have said that it's locking up. I think I had one lock up. And, yeah, uh, yeah. I think if I'm honest. And uh, I cleared it by just holding the on-off button for about 20 seconds. Mm. Other people have said that, you know, taking the battery out clears it, but... I've not had any problems that's not been resolved by holding that in for 20 seconds. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's far more reliable than the, the one you're watching on. Yes. The, the Hero 8, <laughs> which doesn't record sound if you don't put it on the right mic right, setting. It doesn't record any sound at all. So. No, well, it just sort of bars. <laughs> in, incidentally, let me just film that. This uh, Hero 8 that we're, f we're filming on here, it, that's the one I use in the van and that records all our forward-facing footage and uh, it's been relatively reliable for that. We've got a little remote control from it, haven't we, which is in the van? Because no, that's it's not. It's in here. Oh, is it in there? It's in oh, here, right. yeah. Like I say, everything that I need should be in here. So if I open this up a bit more there's a pocket and dividers in here um, this this has been brilliant this is a battery charging case for the Rode wireless mic Rode wireless go to mics and you've got uh, a space for the two transmitters got two transmitters and a receiver if anyone's got these Rode wireless to go mics that's not easy to say <laughs> This is uh, well worth buying. It's got two sockets on the back, one for charging. There's a built-in battery in this. And once you plug this in and you switch it on on the front, it charges the, the mics in there. Now, the great thing about this is that you don't need three separate USB leads to charge the microphones. No. And they say they call them wireless, but why you need all these wires? <laughs> could do with wireless charging, couldn't you? But anyway, that case there... It's battery backup, so you leave that in, in your bag, and once it, obviously it's charged up, it charges the mics. It's also got an output as well, so it's a bit of a backup battery, so you can use that to charge your camera as well. So that is a ZG Cine thing. All the links will be in the description below, so you can check those out. And like I say, all of these things have been bought by us yeah. so far in this bag. And part of it, I mean, I have to yeah. say thank you to people, is um, when people order things through your Amazon link, um, we get a tiny little commission, but it's amazing some months when there's a lot of orders, how, how that mounts up. So yeah. a lot of the time we've been able to use the proceeds of gift cards that we get from Amazon <laughs> for the commission. So you're saying it's not free then? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, but I mean... We're, no. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all right, yeah. Yeah, all right, yeah, so yeah. you know how I feel about what people say. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I mean, YouTube, it, it's paying us an income. We wouldn't be going away without uh, doing the film and without having the channel. We wouldn't yeah. be able to bring you as much content if we didn't get the income yes. from whatever well, that's, that's Amazon right. does. Yeah. So yeah. apologies if you don't like that. It's only because uh, that's how it works. That's right, yeah. And that's what yeah. we do. No, I just got, you know, to you be honest... You get very defensive. I got upset on Friday with, with some comments about yeah. the power bank. And yeah, I can't right. help it. I just... No, know. I know, I know. Yeah. I just, I, if you make any stupid comments like that, I delete it if I see it first, but you get upset when you see them. Well, they all flooded in at once, and I, yeah. I, it yeah. really made me quite upset. Yeah. And if you don't like it, don't watch it. Yeah. You know, do right. something else with yeah. your life. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Yeah, right. okay, then so moving on. Yeah, yeah. so you, you, I get defensive for Jenny. Yeah. Yeah, moving on, I've got a uh, thing for cleaning your lens. Yeah, what's useful? I've got another battery in there, oh, well, that's it down there. Probably because I've shoved everything back in here, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think there's anything any more in there. Uh, it's got this pocket at the top and it's got these dividers in there, which are quite handy. And then if I turn it round, hopefully you can see all this. This is the trouble with this zip, it's a little bit stiff, so that goes like that. And you've got this pocket pocket at the top where I've got my lavalier mics that we use all the time with our Rode Wireless Go 2 microphones. We used those, didn't we, at the NEC? Yeah. 
Just, this, it's good if, if one of us wanders in the back or whatever, you can still... Just picked up the transmitter there. Yeah, we've done that before, <laughs> haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> so that plugs in there like that, and we shove that down our jumpers, and that works really well. Mm. And we haven't had any problems with that, as long as we remember to switch them on. Yes. Um, done that. Well, didn't we do something weird once when <laughs> you were wearing the transmitter That's instead right. of... That's, this, is the tra this is the receiver... Yeah. Right. So that receives from the from these those. transmitters, and what I did was I plugged the mic into that, and it doesn't work. If you do. No. <laughs> so I did a whole load of filming with that. Yeah. So nothing's ever straightforward. No. In this top pocket, more batteries, more batteries. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. More batteries, and this little device here. Uh, Trevor gave me this from Posh Cats Camping and this is like a Y thing that allows you to connect a USB-C, a lightning connector or a USB-A to your computer for transferring footage. It's got an SD card and a, mi a micro SD card slot on there. Really useful. I don't know why you gave me that Trevor but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. I think that's everything in there. There's yeah, just a little um, lens cover that in there. In the, there's a little hidden pocket here, which you can't really see. A little back there, I don't know how much of that you can see. And in there I've got my little my little light. Yeah. Really useful at the show that one that. Yeah just you, that goes on top of the GoPro. I've had that a while and we got that with the Hero Eyes. Yeah it goes on the side like that. Yeah. And if I'm filming in cupboards I can switch that light on. I can actually see what's in the cupboard. Yeah, that's a bonus. So that's, that's a bonus. Um, what else have we got in there? Yeah, this is what you mentioned earlier, the GoPro remote. That has been... We had an, a third party remote, didn't we? For Which the, was hopeless. And it kept locking the cameras up and all sorts of things. In the end, you know, we had to stop using it. But that has been really good because you can either pair it for the two cameras, can't you? So yeah. you can have the two coming on at once. Yeah. Yeah. Or what we do mainly is have it ready for that. Yeah. So I can, can control that easily while still, you know, keep my eye on signs yeah. and where we're going. Yeah. What I have been doing, it's got like a wrist strap. Yeah, and you've been taking it, haven't you, when you so on your own? When I when I'm on my own, perhaps going around Todd's or something, you know, this is the trouble you <laughs> struggle to get it on your your wrist, but can you do it for us? You can put it on first. Yeah. Is that coming through? No, no, you've got to get it through first. That's yeah. it. So once you've got it on your wrist, is then I can be holding the camera and with the other hand I can mm. press that button and it means I'm not reaching on top of the camera to switch it on and off. No, that's right. So it's like that, that's the sort of the setup I've got. Yeah, and but that, it's, that works it is really good. Well. It's really good for when we're going along as well. Because yeah. before, you know, reaching for the camera yeah. so for either of us isn't a good idea. I mean, some people have asked me when I've been filming that what's that thing on your wrist and what's that watch on your wrist? Well, it's not, it's a GoPro yeah. remote. So, yeah. Very simple, but good little thing. Good little thing, yeah. And it's been been reliable Both. as well. Yeah. Um, anything else in this pocket? A couple of bits and pieces. Got these Ulanzi uh, magnetic connector things in there. They're quite useful. That's got a quarter inch thread, and you can connect a GoPro on that, which is what I'm using on there at the moment. Yeah, I can see. Yeah. That's it. So there's those. I think we missed this the first time I filmed it. <laughs> <laughs> It's supposed to do things twice. Yeah, that's right. And right at the back, there's a, I can't. Right at the back, there's a pocket that goes all the way down the back, and it's designed for. Uh, let's see it. It's designed for iPads and that sort of thing. I've actually got a chesty strap in there. This is the thing you put on your on your chest and put the, the less sketchy strap around you and put the GoPro on there. And it's useful if you're doing walking footage. Mm. That's you know, walking around a town or something, you just want a bit of uh, B-roll footage for that. So I'm keeping that with me. Um, well, that at Tintagel, didn't you, when we went up there? Yeah, and if you remember the, well, the video at Tintagel, I'd had my GoPro on my chest like that, and I was using the Sony uh, to take sort of photos and a bit of video. Mm. So, yeah. 
got a pile of it here. Yeah. It's quite incredible, really. Really, what, what, what we take, yeah. Yeah, I mean, just uh, I don't know if I'm, this is filming it, but uh, this is the stuff already got out of the bag. Quite incredible. And all that needs charging, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, last, the, the, the other uh, lavalier mic in its pouch. Yeah. And another pocket there. I won't get these out, but a load of, load of USB leads, because we all need more USB leads in our life. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. It's got a pocket at, at the front here which I've not used yet. It's got um, somewhere to put your water bottles in there. It's got a bit at the bottom where you can attach straps and put a tripod across the bottom. Yeah. Your new bag. <laughs> My new bag. <laughs> <laughs> Just can pull that away again. Yeah. But if you think, you know, five years ago when we went to the Yorkshire show, Went with that that little thing, didn't we? And yeah, we just had that. And well, you wore wore it on your head, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, a little head strap and went round and like, filled the roof. Filled the roof. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, I've got a bit better. <laughs> yeah. But after filming that this whole video before, well, without we, any we, sound, without sound, probably not. No, no. No. So if you enjoyed this video, what do they do? Give us a thumbs up, yeah. um, subscribe if you don't already, and click the bell so that you can follow us at the Yorkshire M Motorhome and Campervan Show I think it's cool, from the 18th to the 20th of March yeah. in Harrogate. So looking forward to that. Yep. And we'll see you soon. Yep. Okay then. Okay. Bye, Bye then. then.